And now a Fox News exclusive. Shocking new details tonight about the condition of the U.S. Air Force tasked with defending your freedom every day. It is experiencing severe shortages in several key areas at a time of increasing budget strain. National security correspondent Jennifer Griffin takes a look. In 10 years, we cut our flying hour program in half. Captain Elizabeth Jarding, call sign Knuckles, is a B-1 pilot who just returned in January from bombing ISIS. Honestly, from a perspective of, of an air crew member, yeah. the squadron's wiped out. Like, we love to do combat. We, we love to deploy, but we don't have enough resources at home to support the demands. Then there is the shortage of parts. They have to cannibalize out-of-service planes from what is known as the Boneyard, a graveyard in the Arizona desert for jets that no longer fly. Like their counterparts in the Marine Corps, they even cannibalize museum aircraft. The problem is much broader than what the Pentagon would like to admit. These KC-135 mid-air refueling tankers keep warplanes airborne in the fight against ISIS. Boeing stopped making this plane in 1962. Captain Frank Gillard deployed within hours of the first bombs being dropped in Libya in 2011. He was one of the pilots who refueled those bombers. So when you have these budget issues and you essentially cut the water off for a little bit, that stagnates our training which immediately impacts our ability to react. And the problems are just as bad for this F-16 squadron. Here at Shaw Air Force Base, home to the 20th Fighter Wing, there are 79 F-16s, but only 42% of them can actually deploy. U.S. Marines at their breaking point, being asked to do more with less. Long wars in Afghanistan and Iraq, the fight against ISIS, budget cuts, all taking a toll on the U.S. Marine Corps, forcing fighter jets and helicopters to break down, losing valuable hours in the air to train, and according to the Marines and military analysts, putting our nation at risk. Budget cuts that reduced the force to 30,000 fewer Marines and wars that were supposed to end but didn't are making it harder to patch these old planes together. Imagine taking like a 1995 Cadillac and trying to make it a Ferrari. You're trying to make it faster, more efficient, but it's still an old airframe, so the aircraft is constantly breaking. The Marines that we have, we don't have enough of them to do the added work. Sometimes it takes the Marines 18 months to get parts for these early model F-18 jets whose production was halted in 2001. Commanders who I've spoken to say they are seeing an unprecedented level of stress on the force. You can see it in the faces of the pilots, but especially in the faces of the maintainers. And late this afternoon, the chief of Navy operations uh, says that they are working on this and, quote, increasing the budget on maintenance. We will continue to follow this story.